Hi, this is Muddy here. I'm just going to give you a quick uh, tip on how to search for games and apps in um, Play Store and Android TVOS, uh, which I didn't realise up until recently. You can actually find more apps and games than there are listed on the initial page of uh, Play Store. So, without further ado, let's get into that. So, we go down to Play Store. This is for the Shield Android TV. Google Play Store. Now, featured apps come across here. There aren't that many, to be honest. I mean, look at that. How sparse is that? And this same with the games. Yeah, there's some, you know. They're all categorised, and I mean, this is the problem, I think, here, yeah, because you're not searching for a manual search on those games, uh, as in like a letter or a word, then. It seems to come up with less, but when I've typed in example, if I type in A, okay, he's been listening to what I've been saying, and mumbo jumbo did it up saying that one time can as the search criteria, does that work? Okay, so we hit the letter A, for instance, enter. I'm using a keyboard and mouse, by the way, plus the controller to scroll it. Right, so when I type A, we get the we get a load of mumbo jumbo again. We get a mix, a mishmash of uh, apps and games, and none of them are actually, hardly any of them are starting with the letter A. So how does that work? But if you look now, watch, because it says, uh, sorry, I've searched letter A. So we keep, we go through and look how many there are now. Still not as many as the next search I'm about to show you though. And the same applies to apps and games. So if I go back to the search and I go to app search. Now, popular results. If you scroll across that, it's loading them. This is why the screen is blinking because it's loading all the tiles for them and it's obviously glitching it slightly on the visuals there. So we go across now, watch this. Hmm, there seems to be a few more. I would say a hell of a lot more than there were before. Uh, things like gamepad test, I mean, all the, all the new, I think it's basically all the stuff that's coming to fruition at, at present that is being released for Android TV OS that it hasn't yet been released. Uh, up until recently, we're getting all those showing up, and, you, and obviously this search, um, you can probably better it by typing in other words as well, you know. Um, so if that that's apps anyway, but it does a mishmash of everything, as I was saying. Uh, it mixes games and apps, which is a bit silly when you're searching for apps. But right, let's rub out app and put in game. Now watch how many games come up. When you do this, I mean, this is such a simple thing. Many people are already going to know this, but those that don't, it's going to be a bit of a breath of fresh air for you, isn't it? Because you're going to have a lot more games to choose from than you had prior. Uh, so, again, I've typed games uh, rather than apps this time. Now we're going across popular results. Let's scroll across that and see what there is. It will combine the whole lot that's on the actual Play Store probably, but some that aren't listed actually in that store, unless you're searching for them manually, it's probably incorporating all the things that you do a manual search for in simply typing the word game or games. So if I scroll across fast now across the rest, look at that. That is way better. I mean, there's things showing up here that I haven't seen before at times. Um, I've never seen them in the Play Store whatsoever on this when I'm searching just through the tiled method, you know, in the uh, criteria method, sort of arcade games, if I go down, racing games, puzzle games, sports games, strategy games, virtual pet games, board games. Uh, it seems to just incorporate that and much, much more. I think probably the, the latest releases that come into fruition. So. Yeah, this is uh, Modit and uh, I'm signing off, I'm going to leave you with that.